What do you think about this? Is it a hate crime when someone brands and cuts swastikas onto the body of a mentally challenged Native American man? The Farmington DA has decide, decided it is and will seek hate crime enhancements against all three suspects in this especially cruel case. News 13's Amanda Goodman reports on the prosecutor's decision. It will be landmark. It being a hate crime enhancement imposed on these three men accused of doing this to a 22-year-old mentally challenged Native American man should they be convicted of the kidnapping and battery charges they're facing. You see, it would be the first time ever a hate crime enhancement, which carries an extra year in prison, was handed down in San Juan County, and prosecutors say this case demands it. We believe the facts are the case of the case and what happened to the victim. Call for it. Police say on April 29th, Paul Beebe, William Hatch, and Jesse Sanford lured the man to this apartment complex where they burned a swastika into his arm with a wire hanger, shaved another swastika on his head and more. He was drawn on with images of uh, hate speech. But proving a crime was motivated by hate isn't easy. Oftentimes the defendants don't talk. They invoke their Miranda or the right to remain silent. So that doesn't, you don't get the kind of information where you can prove it. And that is exactly what happened in a 2009 case against Joshua and Jose Garcia. They're accused of kidnapping and beating a Native American man. Prosecutors had wanted to add the hate crime enhancement. We decided not to charge them with it because we didn't believe we had enough evidence. The only other time the DA's office has filed a notice of a hate crime was against Freddie Brooks, John Weiner, and C.L. Carney. The three men were accused of kidnapping and assaulting a Native American man who was hitchhiking back in 2006. But the hate crime enhancement was never pursued because the three men pled out. The DA's office says from what they've seen so far in this case, they believe there is enough evidence here to prove this was indeed a hate crime. In Farmington, Amanda Goodman, KRQE News 13. B.B. Hatch and Sanford were arraigned today. All three are jailed on a $150,000 cash-only bond. The Garcia brothers are still awaiting trial.